Hi people, here we have a very cool triangle with a green square tightly fitted into it and we want to find the area of that square. The base of the triangle is 35 and its area is 245. So if you want to try this on your own, you can do so by pausing the video or else we are going to start doing it together right now. Let's first draw two perpendicular lines here and here. And let's name this one S. S is equal to one of the sides of this green square. And let's name this one X. X is the height of this small triangle CDE that you see over here. If we join X and S, we get the height of this big triangle ABC. And that's great because we know the area and the height of ABC and we can use them to get its height. The area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Let's do the math and we find the height to be 14. We now know that S plus X is 14. And we are going to put that information to good use. The big triangle ABC and this small triangle CDE are similar triangles. Let me show you why. AB and DE are parallel lines because they overlap with the size of the square. That means this angle down here is equal to this one. And this angle over here is equal to this one. And this angle at the top is a common angle. So all three angles of ABC and CDE are basically the same. Now that we know ABC and CDE are similar triangles, we can conclude that the ratio of their heights to their bases must be the same. Let's set up an equation to show that. The height of the triangle CDE is X, but we know that S plus X is 14. So instead of X, let's write 14 minus S here. We divide that by S because that's the side of the green square and it coincides with the base of the small triangle. On the other side of the equation we have 14, the height of the triangle ABC, divided by 35, the base. Let's quickly divide the side by 7 and we get 2 over 5. Let's eliminate the fractions. We get 5 times 14 minus S inside brackets equals 2 times S. Let's remove these brackets here. 5 times 14 is 70 and it's minus 5S. Next we add 5S to both sides. We've got 70 here and on the other side we have 7s. That takes us to the conclusion that s equals 10. One side of this green square is 10. And now I'm going to ask my son to find the area of the green square. Go on son. The side of the square is 10. And we need to multiply the side by itself to find the area of the square. We multiply 10 by 10 and we got 100. That's the area of the green square. Thank you for the momentous assistance, son. There we are, people. The area of the green square is 100. Don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now is a great time to do that. Have a good day and see you soon.